Maria Shachovstova helps her brother-in-law repair her roof. A mortar landed next to her home where she has lived for more than 50 years. I couldn't sleep. I was staggering around the house all night because of the noise of the shelling. When I finally got to bed early morning, there was a huge explosion. The window came crashing in. There was glass all over my bed. I was terrified. The last few days have got really bad again. The United Nations says almost 10,000 people have been killed since the conflict between Ukrainian government forces and Russia-backed separatists started almost three years ago. The latest attempt at a ceasefire was in late December, but that collapsed a week ago. Shelling has been particularly intense around the town of Avdiivka. Victor and his family live in a nearby street. A mortar landed in their garden, destroying a section of their home. Victor has relatives living in rebel-held territory. He says the conflict has split his family in half. Everything is unclear. My brothers live across the front line in rebel territory. I cannot fight. I cannot understand what both sides are trying to defend. And we civilians are in the middle. In the late afternoon, the fighting started. In, in, the last, in the last 10 to 15 minutes, the shelling has started again. Both sides are blaming each other for the escalation in this violence, which is being described as the worst in two years. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Avdiivka, Eastern Ukraine.